Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and welcome to another video where today you join me where I'm in uh, the dealership. Look at this. <laughs> if you think, be thinking, where is he? What is he doing? Well, you can clearly see that it's been very, very busy and um, I've been flat out and something which I've just, do you know what? I've been absolutely loving it as well, uh, but it has been busy. It's been uh, a lot of work and I can't complain because I am, blessed to be in my own dealership and in here on my own thinking do you know what this all started in january with a dream and a vision and uh it's 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 in an amazing place and i'm really really happy and uh yeah just really I'd say blessed and my dad who is just on there would be really really proud of it I know he would um, and it would just be I wish he could just walk through these doors and come see it and just be like wow but that ain't gonna happen but anyway um, look lots is going on there's lots of cars which are sold such as that such as Carrera such as GT3 and more um, it's just been really 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 busy storage sides that side this side is the stock side so just for an update for you and uh, yeah, that's kind of how we're operating. And actually something very cool just arrives. Mr. JE, his old uh, TTS, 60,000 miles on it, and it is a really cool car. So really cool that that's done full circle. Uh, but yeah, there is lots happening and uh, I'm just buzzing about the whole thing. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to take you through something which is, uh, I was looking at the other day on the internet and that is finding a cheap Range Rover. Not for me, uh, but I was just looking at how good value some of these Range Rovers are in terms of the older ones. And I wanted to see if I could find the cheapest Range Rover um, and what they're like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that um, on the laptop and we're, have, we're gonna have a little look at some of uh, the cheapest Range Rovers that there are out there. Because you know the, the ones, the O2 Regs, £1,900 some of them. I want to just have a little look because it's a bit of fun and I thought that we could have a little look at some of the cheapest cars you can actually buy for that amount of money. It'd be weird just being sat in the office on my own but I love it. This is like my place and I just like got my little TV, you see what's going on, it's just cool. Uh, so yeah, like I say, what I wanted to do is I wanted to take you through um, yeah, the cheapest Range Rovers, like the O2 Reg, because I just think they're really cool and it's something a little bit different. Um, I did a TikTok on it and I, people loved it. So it was like, right, I'm going to make a video on that because let's see what we can find. Right, let's get down to it. 2,000 Range Rovers online, which is, well, they're good cars. Right, first things first, we have one for 750. That's spares or repairs. So we have to basically find one which is not spares or repair. MOT, sold to clear. Hmm, 1,400. 1400 long MOT engine. <laughs> that looks all right. This is what I mean. They are just mental. <laughs> These were so cool back in the day. They're still cool now. I mean, Jeremy Clarkson drives around in one. Uh, let's look at the next page so we can actually have a little look. This one was was one I actually saw on online and one I made a video on. Um, so reconditioned gearbox. Like that is cool. Like in O2, that was probably the coolest car you could have on the road. It is unbelievable. Put your dogs in there and away you go. It's actually mental. You can drive around in that for 1,800 pounds. Obviously, we need to think about the bills. Now the bills are probably gonna be quite high. Um, top spec, sat nav. So we've got a sat nav in here. We're pushing the boat out. But that genuinely, like, if someone turned up wherever in that, I think it's cool. Like, it's two grand, right? Let's just remember it is £2,000, which is just absolutely bonkers. Uh, so that's that one. So obviously now we're going slightly higher, um, and we're going to sort of cars which are two and a half grand. Um, and obviously the step is quite high. 135,000 miles, but if you go a thousand pounds more, your level of Range Rover goes up quite considerably. Mm. That phew, said a bit of a scuff, uh, but your level of Range Rover goes up quite considerably, as you can see. Um, but it's also got a sat nav, and you can also see someone's shoes. <laughs> so they come with it because of the car. <laughs> um, 
But this is probably when you started to get sat navs in Range Rovers. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but if you wanted a cheap little runaround, obviously, you know, this is basically just saying value for money. Um, it's not bad. Cat N. Do you not want a Cat N? Uh, let's go. Let's go page six because I want to go slightly higher to three thousand six hundred ish. So the, the, it does go up quite considerably, and you could look at this for three thousand nine hundred. We got side steps. Has it been lowered? No, but I mean, oh, we've got a big old toe hook on the old girl. That's got a body kit on it. Look at that. What body kit is that? Chaos. Before we had the old Mansori and everything happening. And that. What body kit is that? Because that is just arrived. Custom. Oh, it's Revere. 100,000 miles. But I, like I said, I think the question is, would you buy one, basically? And would you take the risk on one in terms of value for money? Okay, 3,000. That's a private seller. Okay, 4,000. Let's have a quick look at this one. Lovely, clean example. It is lovely and clean. Definitely. Blacked out alloys. 54 plate. And now de chrome it. Lovely interior. Not bad. Not bad. Not Lovely hoovered carpets. It, that's a minter. Four grand. So you put a grand in. Probably going to cost you £75 a month. Probably, £100. You would probably not finance a car for four grand. You would probably get a bank loan or something at that level of car. But unbelievable value for money these cars are. We're going to go to five grand, right? Five grand. Lovely Vogue. That's nice. Quad tips. Absolute. So much value for money. Um, let's go a little bit more. So here we're at six and a half grand look at this right this has got a kit on it what kit is that overfinch right so full genuine overfinch ridiculous how is that six grand you've got the seats in the back do you remember those rangers and they had the, the, the tvs in the back is that the tvs in that i think it is i remember i do you know what i remember back in the day i was like People, looking at people in 2007 like oh my god they've got TVs in the back of their car they are like the coolest person in the world um, so there we go finding a cheap Range Rover um, look I wouldn't do it because I'm a little bit worried about the bills I think that if that something like that started going wrong I don't know where it ends genuinely I don't know where it ends you could get that and just drive down the road and you have literally, uh, you've broken down. So uh, that would be not very good. Um, but would you guys go for it? Let me know. Uh, but this is cool, right? This. Do you not think that for under, right, 18 grand, that is a bonkers bit of kit. Under 18 grand that is going up for sale for, which is super, super cheap. I think anyway, look at it, it's perfect. It doesn't need any work that. That is, that is really nice. Really, really, really nice. So also, also, ladies and gentlemen, if you are not signed up to the vlogging channel, make sure you do because I'm doing daily, not daily, but three or four times a week, vlogs on everything which is happening um, in here uh, and everything else. So um, collections, things going out, things coming in. Um, so if you're not signed up to the vlogging channel, make sure you do because uh, there's so many behind the scenes things in here which you haven't seen there's also a collection coming soon with the cle 53 lots of people have been asking when is that car going to turn up it is imminent and we're going to go and enjoy and have some fun um, and then we're going to go do you know what i'm going to do straight drag racing straight modding straight enjoying and everything else so let me know what you think and would you would you buy a Range Rover for that amount of money let me know in the comments and uh, yeah make sure you check out the website for all the incredible stock and everything else which is happening at my dealership and uh, yeah it's been really really cool make sure you stay tuned and like I say lots more of the normal videos are going to be coming back very shortly and to pick up the new car which is going to be amazing and then I'm thinking sports car who knows
we'll see. Let's get the first one first, and then we'll work out how much money I've got left. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you.